Ladies and gentlemen, and welcome to Destiny. I'm Death from Above. Today, I'm going to do something uh, I've been meaning to do for a long, long time. So, Banshee is bringing the Judith D hand cannon to us this week. Where is it? Where is it? Where is it? Where is it? There it is. So, this is the Haka hand cannon, the Judith D. There are two Haka hand cannons. There's the Judith D and the Geharis D. Uh, they're both named after, I think, Knights of the Round Table or something like that, but I've never given the Haka hand cannons their due. So I figured it was time we took one of the guns and we analyzed it. We did a little video on it, talked about it, do the old Legendary Max style where we talk about the gun, look at the base stats, look at the perks I've got on mine, take it into some PvP, take it into some PvE, and talk about how I think it performs in those situations. So if that's something you want to get into, let's do that right now, shall we? So I do record a lot of these live on Twitch, so if you want to check that out, follow the link in the description. Uh, sometimes I do the regular video, sometimes I'll do a little bit of an extended video, but if you want to go follow the channel, you can find me every morning, like every single morning, uh, I'm there streaming. But anyway, let's get into the Haka Judith D hand cannon. So it reads, headshots are strongly encouraged with the powerful Haka Judith D hand cannon. I would, I would echo that statement. Uh, it's a very encouraged headshot gun. Now, I'm very partial to Haka weapons just because of the look, the sound, the feel. They feel like something mechanical in Destiny, where Destiny is full of all sorts of space wizardry. The Haka is very mechanical in nature, and I like that. I like that in Destiny. I like that from a gun. Um, it is an extremely high-impact, low-rate-of-fire hand cannon. That's just It's just what it is. So, these kind of hand cannons are very strong. But I don't know where they fit into the PvP meta, and in PvE, uh, you know, it's kind of a pick your poison type situation. So it's a very high impact, low rate of fire hand cannon. Stability's not too great. Reload's pretty slow. Uh, range is okay, but I, I've got a range perk hitting that. So range is actually pretty decent on the GSD if we compare it to something like the Finalis Pero. You can see the range is better on the Finalis, uh, but the rate of fire is faster the impact is lower so you're gonna get more punch out of the Judith D uh, this is a gun that's kind of an interesting gun because it really comes down to the talents uh, so the setup I have crowd control reactive reload and right now I'm on small bore I've been running it on speed reload or high caliber rounds but switch to small bore it goes from seven in the mag to six in the mag with small bore but you can get you get increased range and stability which I'm kind of favoring at this point because I find with the Judith D I don't end up using the whole mag pop off three or four shots, kill a guy, reload, or not. You know, <laughs> pop off three or four shots, die, respawn. So, uh, the, the typical situation with this gun is you want to get crowd control proccing or reactive reload proccing or both. Uh, I can think of a couple situations of PvP where I've killed somebody, reloaded, and then gotten that 127 headshot or whatever it is and just absolutely demolish somebody afterwards so it's really really cool but it's a very specific situation type of gun so let's talk about pve and pvp performance since that's what we do here so in pve it's a hand cannon it does hand cannon things i know i say that a lot but i'm i mean it i guess um it it's a hand cannon it doesn't have a, a big mag and it has a low rate of fire so in pve you're gonna be aiming for headshots you're gonna get headshots it's pretty cool uh, you're going to do a lot of damage with it, but it doesn't have a reload perk. So Outlaw would be nice on this gun, but if you get Outlaw, you're going to be sacrificing a damage perk. So it's kind of one of those situations where in PvE, I'm probably not using this hand cannon, but if it had different talents, maybe I would, but probably not. Um, it's solid. It's, it's very strong. It hits really hard. Uh, but I think in the current form... It's kind of out of place, especially in PvE. In PvE, you're going to need a completely different role than the one I've got on mine. But in PvE, it's okay. Uh, I wouldn't recommend it. It's kind of more focused towards PvP as far as my role goes and as far as the archetype goes. Uh, <clears throat> so PvP is where I want to focus my uh, vocal energy uh, or mental energy on this gun. So in PvP, this gun set up, the crowd control, uh, the reactive reload have a situation and the reason that makes this gun so interesting is there is a situation where you can one shot somebody in the, in the crucible with this gun it's rare it's hard to do but it is possible so that's why it's interesting but let's talk about pvp in general with this gun 
It's a high impact. It's the highest impact I think hand cannon you can get. If not, it's very, very high. So it's a slow rate of fire. It's a really slow gun. Um, I find that the Finalis Peril, Eyes Luna, Palindrome archetype is probably the best PvP archetype because you, with the uh, with the Judith without the damage multiplying perks, you still have to get three shots to kill, and that's the same for the Judith or the Palindrome or the Eyes Luna or any of the other ones because you still have to get three shots to kill. The Judith is a higher impact, but those other ones, the Palindrome and the Eyes Luna, you can fire a little bit faster, and it's the same time to kill, basically. As far as in my mind, that's what I'm thinking. Uh, but the thing that makes the Judith so interesting is the perks, is the talents in PvP. Because, and I'll explain the situation where you can one-shot somebody. So you have reactive reload, you have crowd control. So you have to shoot somebody, kill them, reload, get reactive reload active, kill another person to get crowd control active, have those two stacked on top of each other, and be inside a ward of dawn with weapons of light, move out of there, have all three of those those buffs active, and then shoot somebody in the head, and they will die from one shot. Now that's the situation. Obviously that's not going to happen very often, but it can happen. What's more likely to happen is you're going to kill a kill, and you're going to get reactive reload, and then you're going to get a headshot, and you're going to do 127. Or you're going to get crowd control, you're going to get a kill, then you're going to do another headshot, and you're going to do 127. So you can still two-shot people with this gun very easily and very often. <laughs> Just get the get the kill, or keep shooting, or get the kill and reload and shoot. So that way, that's what makes this gun interesting. It's a two shotter if you get a kill. Um, but and this is a huge but. It's like Kim Kardashian's but. It's a huge but. It's really hard to do because of the slow rate of fire of this hand cannon. You're gonna get outgunned by all the palindromes, devils, you know, uh, eyes, lunas. All those different guns, Lord High Fixers, all those guns are going to outgun you because they can fire faster and they kill in the same time because it takes three bullets initially. So unless you're team shotting somebody, if you're in a one-on-one -on -one engagement with the Judith versus a Palindrome, you're going to lose because the Judith fires slower, but it still takes three bullets to kill initially. Now, if you've already got one of the talents to proc, it's awesome. It's awesome. So it's a lot of fun in sixes, I think. Um, in sixes, in a close quarters map, the Judith D is a lot of fun. Follow a buddy, wait for him to start shooting somebody, get the kill, get the cleanup kill, and then just go to town with having fun with the talents. Now, the reason I bring this gun up now is because it is for sale. I think it's the one of the more interesting guns that Banshee is selling right now. It is a foundry order. If you picked it up, you'll be able to grab that next Wednesday when it comes and hopefully there'll be a really interesting role these high impact hand cannons I really really enjoy so hopefully hopefully there'll be something interesting something fun I need to replace my version with crowd control reactive reload with uh, rifle barrel or reinforced barrel mine currently has small bore which is reducing my mag size which I don't like uh, I would like to replace this with rifle or reinforced barrel so that would make this a more interesting gun to me because then you're you're playing into the meta with the range. But what do you guys think? Is the Judith even on your radar? I brought this up because I kind of want to bring some attention to it, but also talk about it and see what you think. Obviously, the Eisloon and Palindrome are very, very prevalent right now. Lord High Fixer. I'm getting a lot of a lot of people saying, "Try out the Lord High Fixer. Try out the Lord High Fixer." I've got one. I'm gonna use it, and we're gonna have some fun with it. Uh, but right now the Judith D is kind of in question. Do you think it's a good gun? Are you using it? Do you have fun with it? Let me know in the comments. And uh, if you want me to take a look at any other guns besides the Lord's High Fixer, I know about that one. I've got one. We'll see. Uh, if you want to take, if you want, if you want me, if you want to take a look at me, <laughs> if you want me to take a look at any of these guns, let me know in the comments and I'll do that. But check the links out in the description. Follow the Twitch channel. Check the streams every every day. And uh, I'm gonna get out of here. Subscribe if you want to see more and like the video if you did enjoy. If you didn't enjoy it, why are you still here? I don't understand you. Anyway, guys, thanks so much for watching. I'm Death and This has been a silly recording. It's late. Anyway, I'm going to get out of here. You guys have an awesome day, and I will see you later. See ya, bye!